Did you know that Germany is famous for its skill in making things and constructing buildings? But can they take on enormous and remarkable projects too? Such as creating the world's longest underwater tunnel and building a super expensive factory costing $33 billion or managing a massive power plant with an uncertain future and rotating a train station by 90 degrees? Here are the top seven most costly large-scale projects in Germany. Let's start with number seven, which is the Elfel Harmony. Elfel Harmony. This big project in Hamburg cost over $900 million. It became a famous landmark in the city after it was finished. It's a special concert hall. The bottom part of the building looks like an old warehouse with its original brick design, which fits in nicely with the buildings around it. But the top part of the building is modern, with glass walls and a wavy roof. But making it look so unique was expensive, and the construction didn't go smoothly. This project started in 2007, paid for by a real estate developer, and was supposed to be done in three years for $82 million. But one year later, the cost doubled, causing delays. It took six years longer than planned and ended up costing almost a billion dollars, which is more than 11 times the original estimate. When it opened, many people from around the world talked about it in the news. Most people liked it, but some complained about how it sounded inside for concerts. Still, more than 2.6 million people have visited it, and it's one of the most interesting places to see in Hamburg. Datteln 4 Power Plant Now let's talk about even more expensive projects. Number 6 on our list is the Datteln 4 Power Plant, which cost $1.6 billion. This is a really big power plant. At first, it was called the biggest illegal construction site in Germany, but there's a story behind it. Back in the 1960s, the Datteln coal power plant provided electricity for 20% of German trains and heated 45% of the homes in Datteln. But all three parts of this old plant had a license to operate only until 2012. So, before that license expired, they decided to build a new part, Datteln 4. This new part was supposed to produce even more electricity than the other three parts combined, making it one of the most efficient coal power plants in the world for its size. But this project had lots of problems. Soon after they started building it, there were legal fights about the construction plan and the permission to release pollutants into the air. These permits were taken away and given back many times, causing lots of delays. Finally, the plant opened in 2020 and is running, even though the legal issues are not completely solved. We'll have to wait and see if there's a real future for Germany's last modern coal plant, Frankfurt 4. Next on the list is number 5, the Frankfurt 4 skyscraper complex, which cost $2.1 billion. Frankfurt is a big city in Germany known for its tall buildings, especially in the financial area. They have 18 of the 20 tallest buildings in the country. Now they're building something new and special in the city. It's called 4, and it will make a whole new neighborhood with offices, apartments, hotels, and stores. 4 will have four really tall buildings connected at the bottom. They are designed in a smart way. The space between them and the way they look from the outside will give a complete view of the whole place from all sides. Also, the way the buildings are turned will let in a lot of sunlight, even at the base of the buildings. 4 is part of a plan to make the financial area in Frankfurt better. The idea for this project came up in 1999 when Deutsche Bank wanted to replace their old tall building with a new one. But after the 9 Elevents event, the project didn't move forward for more than 15 years. It only got going again when a new developer took over. They started building it in 2018, and it's still being worked on. It's expected to open to the public in 2025. Now let's move on to number 4, the Hof C and Albatros project. Hof C and Albatros. We've talked about how Germany is trying to use less fossil fuels and switch to clean energy. This is starting to happen, with 44% of Germany's energy now coming from clean sources. One of the projects that helps with this is the Ho Sea and Albatros. These are two wind parks in the North Sea near the border between Germany and the Netherlands, and they're combined into one big project. Being out at sea helps because it gets strong winds from the sea and there's no noise pollution. But there are challenges to building out there. They had to think about the weather, waves, and how solid the sea bottom is when planning this project. Also, the water is 40 meters deep in that area so they needed a lot of material for the wind turbines. In fact, they used almost 10 times more steel than what was used to build the Eiffel Tower. Despite all these challenges, they managed to build it without too many problems, and it was done in 2020. 
Right now, this wind park can produce 640 megawatts of electricity, which is enough to power over 700,000 homes. Let's talk about number three, Frankfurt Airport Terminal 3, which costs $4.3 billion. Frankfurt Airport is the busiest airport in Germany, with around 70 million passengers in 2019. They need to handle so many people and compete with other airports in Europe, so they are building a brand new terminal. This terminal will have three parts called piers, G, H, and J together. These piers will allow 19 million more passengers to use the airport each year. They are also planning for a fourth part, Pier K, for the future, but whether it gets built depends on how many passengers there are. Right now, they are still building two of the piers, while Pier G is already done. Normally, Pier G would be open to the public, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, the number of passengers at the airport dropped by 73%, and the whole airport is still getting back on its feet. So instead of opening Pier G, they want to finish all of it first and open the entire Terminal 3 in 2026, when more passengers are expected. Tesla Gigafactory Berlin Now let's talk about number two on our list. Tesla's Berlin Brandenburg Gigafactory, which costs $5.5 billion. As Tesla became a bigger and bigger company, they wanted to sell their electric cars and batteries in Europe. To do this, they used to bring these products from other parts of the world, which wasn't very efficient. So Tesla decided to build a huge factory in Europe, called the Gigafactory. This factory makes batteries, power parts, and the Tesla Model I car. When they first said they were going to do this, many countries in Europe wanted to be the place where the factory would be built. It makes sense because having a factory like this can help the country's economy a lot. In the end, they chose a location near Berlin in Germany. They picked it because it's in a good spot in Europe and close to Berlin Brandenburg Airport. But building the factory took a long time because of a lot of rules and paperwork. The CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, even wrote a letter to the people in charge in Germany, saying that their rules were too complicated. After three years of building, the factory finally opened in 2022. Right now, more than 10,000 people work there, and they are slowly making more and more cars. Since this is the only Tesla factory this big in all of Europe, they plan to make 750,000 cars there every year. Berlin Brandenburg Airport Now let's talk about number one, Berlin Brandenburg Airport, which costs $7.5 billion. This airport is the only commercial airport that serves Berlin and the nearby Brandenburg area. Even though it has only been open for three years, the idea for this airport goes back a long time. After the Berlin Wall came down last century, there were three different airports serving Berlin and the nearby places. But these airports were getting too crowded, so they had an idea to build one big airport to replace them all. But because of legal problems, it took more than 15 years to actually start building it. At first, they thought it would take five years and cost $2 billion to build, but they were very wrong about how much it would cost. This mistake caused big financial problems and it delayed the construction for nine more years. The cost went up a lot, and just before it opened in October 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic happened, which meant even more money was needed because not many people were flying. But in 2022, Berlin Brandenburg Airport started working like a regular airport, and about 20 million passengers used it. This number is expected to go up even more in the future. If you're enjoying this information, consider subscribing.